and welcome back to part 5 of my modeling tutorial. Today I will show you how to skin our golf cart we built in the last lesson. Here it is, but currently it's completely gray. Why it's gray? Because they used a texture for my blank texturing file for the modeling file for Techni. Has a gray parts as you can see here. So all the parts now have the same gray as here. But, well, it's not that what we want. So, what do we have to do? First we start with selecting our wheels and give them names. So we can find them in the list below here. This is the wheel front left. So wheel back left. Wheel front right. And the wheel back right. So you press the button, enter a new name, you see it here in the list. So, we do it now for all other shapes we have. Starting with, I think it's the motor. This is the front part, one. Front part, and front three. This is the ground. This is the One seat two seat three seat four seat five and then we have here back one. Back two, back three, back four, and back five. If you look at our list. Well, we have still some parts that are not named. So here we go. This is steering one and steering two. Oh, there we have back six. And what do we do here? Access front and this rear. So if we look now on our list, all our parts are named. Now we sort it. So starting with front one, you can just drop and drag it. Front three. The back parts, one, two, the seat in the middle,
Now it's sorted. I always thought it that way that the wheels are the last parts we have here. It's because of the part that's following the next tutorial, how to convert it to a model file. So, you can see it. It's sorted now. So, what do we do next? Now we have to adjust all parts, the texture offset. So, I'll start always with the wheels and bring them down. Okay, make it a little bit bigger. You can see here that's where our wheel now looks for our, the texture file. You can look here, you see now it's invisible. You notice 498, so we do it this 498 for all other wheels, because all wheels use the same skin. So, now we can start with all other parts. Starting with the front, moving it down by, let's say, 580, oh, a little bit too much, bringing it up for 60, the next for 60, and move it by 100. And the third part for 60, and 150. Uh, match, so we move it a little bit. As you see, to adjust the numbers, also adjust here. Four six zero. Fifty uh, to seventy. So we do it for all parts. So we you get a uh, texture for all the parts here. Every part you move becomes invisible currently because there's no texture file for it. But don't worry, we will work on it.
So, finally finished. All parts are separated. You have no further parts like this here in the corner. So all parts are skinned. Good. Now we see nothing. Because all parts are currently in the white field and the white means there is nothing. So, how do we get now our texture? Well, simple. Exporting as texture map. We do it. I'll save it to the desktop. Save. Load texture. Car blank. This is our. And you see, here we go. It's skinned. Okay, currently it looks a little bit strange, but it's no problem. If we now open oh, yeah, some stuff here, close all this stuff. So if we open now this saved texture file, on a painting program if you want. Oh, here we go. As you see, this is our file. Same as here. So I can delete now the ground. We don't need it anymore. Also the center. So we have the plane vehicle. Now in our painting program, I use a coral draw for that, we paint our skin file. Selecting the color I want. Oh, let's start with some black. Here, we're starting with the wheels this time. bit gray around. And back to black. So, as you see, these are our wheels now, and if we export it to the desktop where we saved the texture file before, it asks to replace it, yes, okay, save as PNG, and here we go. Oh, our car has wheels. Oh, okay, there's a small white dot. Oh, uh, here. So. And I think uh, don't look th that good. So, making small adjustments. And export it again. Replace, yes. We have to re a uh, save it as a PNG and with a transparency. All parts that are here squared will appear uh, a transparent on the model. I'll show you it in the next step. Closing it. Well, looking good. The transparency, as you can see here, this is our steering wheel. Uh, I ask who has uh, this plate as a wheel, so 
this is our texture for the wheel here. Going to our painting program here. Here we go. So we make it a little bit black on the sides. So here black. Here we go black again. We paint. It like a wheel. Make it a little, little bit special. Okay, we have a few tiny plates here in other colors. In Coral Draw, you use the it's called a ra eraser. This you can delete. Oops, not that. All this stuff you don't need. So we got basically only the used parts. I have to adjust that one. So, looks fine, uh, but there is still there and there. So, we export this one. You got a steering wheel where you can look through. And so, we paint now all parts of the model. I will do it this time a little bit faster. I'll use only one color, except for the this part here. This, is this. I make it in black. So, but it's only for working. So the rest of the parts we color now in oh the axis we will also do in black. You can do everything you want, you can paint it in every color you need you want. So I will paint this rest now in and not all. This part here, the top we will paint in black. Which is, I have to look this one, this here. Paint it also in, in black. And the front we will also paint in black. I hope it's the front. And from this, Part here, the rear part we will paint in black, and the top part we will paint partially in black. We have small letters on there, so L and left and right. We have also here, so you can find very really easy your parts. So if I save it now, uh, the top is the wrong side and down is also a little bit weird, uh, but it's no problem. The rest will pass. Just simply paint gray.
So, so the sides of the back we do something special. So with the rear sides, look and take me, and you see. And have a look. Export it. Ah, oh, didn't work. So I need the other side here. Make it grey. Part. You can see it. Well, looks good. Same we do with this one. To do it on this side this time. And here. Parting. Okay. So these blues we take our eraser and delete it. Just simple. Oh, there's a small green spot to paint it. But first, we delete this stuff here. So that's it. That's our texture file. We export it now as car blanco. Okay. And as you see. Here we go. This is our golf cart now. You can look through there. There. So, finally our golf cart is now skinned. And that concludes the fifth part of my tutorial.